Lecture 2 of 2, Geometric Sequence At the end of lesson, students should be able to A. Find the n term and the sum of the first n terms B. Solve problems involving geometric sequence in business and economics Let's look at the definitions of a geometric sequence A sequence in which any term can be obtained from the previous term by multiplying by a constant is called a geometric sequence or geometric progressions. The geometric sequence are given by A, AR, AR square, AR cube, so on, AR to the power of N minus 1, so on, where you must know that A is the first term, so A here is the first term. And R is the common ratio. So, just now you know that A is the first term. How about the rest? AR is the second term. AR square is the third term. AR cube is the fourth term. And so on. So, the n terms is Tn equal to AR to the power of of n minus 1 you will use this formula to find the n term so the n term is called general term of a geometric sequence now let's look at the common ratio r so the common ratio is given by r equal to t2 divided by T1 equal to T3 divided by T2 equal to so on which is we can say that for example T4 divided by T3 equal to Tn over Tn minus 1 alright let's look at the example here you are given a sequence here which is 2 4, 8, 16, and so on. So, how to determine either this sequence is a geometric sequence or not? We must find the common ratio. So, how to find the common ratio? You can take T2 divided by T1, which is we have 4 divided by 2. So, you will get 2. And you must have T3 divided by T2, which is 8 divided by 4, also 2, just to compare whether you get the same answer. Or you can try to take T4 divided by T3, also you will get the same answer, which is 2, since we have the same answer which is 2, we can say that we have the common ratio R equal to 2 therefore, we can say that this sequence is a geometric sequence Example 1 Find the 6 and n term for the geometric sequence 4, negative 8 16, negative 32, and so on. So the question asks you to find the sixth term and n term. So T6 and Tn. Based on the sequence given here, you can take out information, which is the first terms are A equal to 4, and we can find the common ratio R. Okay, we can take T2 divided by T1. So we can have negative 8 divided by 4 equal to negative 2. So the common ratio is negative 2. So to find T6, we can use this formula Tn 
equal to a r to the power of n minus 1. We can substitute n equal to 6. So, t 6 equal to k 4 times r negative 2 to the power of 6 minus 1. So, we get 4 times negative 2 to the power of 5 equal to negative 128. So, T6 equal to negative 128. Next, we want to find the N, the N terms. Okay, still, we will use this formula, TN. Equal to A, 4, R, negative 2 to the power of n minus 1. Alright. For this part, we can change it to the fraction form. So, we can have 4 times negative 2 to the power of n over negative 2 to the power of 1. Okay, we can simplify this by taking 4 divided by negative 2, so we get negative 2 times negative 2 to the power of n. So here we have the same base, which is negative 2 with different power, which is power 1 and power n. So we can combine and we will get negative 2 to the power of n plus 1. Therefore, Tn equal to negative 2 to the power of n plus 1. Example 2. The third term of a geometric sequence is 15. And the sixth term is 120. Find the first term, the common ratio, and 10 term. Alright, you are given two informations in this question. The first one is, the third term is 15. So, T3 equal to 15. And the second information is, sixth term is 120. So, we have T6 equal to 120. Okay, the question asks you to find the first term, which is A, or T1. The common ratio, which is R, and... 10 term, T10. Alright, before we can find the 10 terms, you must have the value of A and R, the first term and the common ratio. To find the value of A and R, you must use these two informations. Okay, you can substitute these two information in the formula, Tn equal to AR to the power of N minus 1. Alright, let's substitute the third term first. Okay, we will have AR square equal to 15. Okay, next, let's substitute the six terms. In these equations, you will get AR to the power of 5 equal to 120. Alright, let's define these equations as equations 1 and these equations as equations 2. Next, we will take equations 2 divide by equations 1. Alright, we will have a r to the power of 5 over a r square equal to 120 over 
15. Alright, for this part, we can simplify it by cancelling A. And we will take R to power of 5 minus power 2. So we'll get R cubed equal to this part, we get 8. So to get R, we must have cube root of 8. So R equal to 2. Alright, now since we have the value of R, we can substitute this value in equations 1 or equations 2 to get the value of A. So, let's substitute into, I will choose equations 1. Alright, we have A times 2 square equal to 15. So, we have 4A equal to 15. A equal to 15 over 4. Alright, now... We already find the value of R and A, so we can use this value to be substituted into this formula with N equal to 10 to get the 10th term. So we have T10 equal to A 15 over 4 times R 2 to the power of 10 minus 1, which is power 9, equal to 1920. Therefore, the value of 10 term is 1920. Example 3. In a geometric progressions, the second term exits the first term by 20 and the fourth term exit the second term by 15. Find the possible values of the first term. Alright, there are two informations given in this question. The first one is the second term exit the first term by 20. So, we can take out the informations. We can write T2, the second terms, equal to T1 plus 20. And the second information is, fourth term exit the second term by 15. So, we have T4 equal to the second term T2 plus 15. Okay, the question asks you to find the possible values of the first term, which is the value of A. Alright, now we must make sure in these equations we have A. Alright, you can use the formula Tn equal to AR to the power of N minus 1. Alright, we can substitute 2 in these equations at N. Alright, so we will get AR equal to, for the first term, you will get A and plus 20. Alright, for these equations, we will get, when n equal to 4, we will get ar to the power of 3 equal to, when n equal to 2, we will get ar plus 15. So, let's try to solve this part first. Alright, rearrange these equations. To get a r minus a equal to 20, we can factorize this part with a. So we get a times r minus 1 equal to 20. Let's define this equation as equations 1. Alright, next. For these equations, 
must rearrange to get a r cube minus a r equal to 15. Next, we can factorize this part with a r. So, you will get a r times r square minus 1 equal to 15. All right. For r square minus 1, you can factorize it. So, you will get a r times r plus 1 times r minus 1 equal to 15. So, let's define these equations as equations 2. So, now we can take equations 2 divide by equations 1. So, we will get a r times r plus 1 times r minus 1 over a times r minus 1 equal to 15 over 20. Alright, for this part, we can simplify it by cancelling a and r minus 1. So, we will get r times r plus 1 equal to 15 over 20 is 3 over 4. Alright, for this part, you can expand and we can rearrange these equations. So, we will get r square plus r minus 3 over 4 equal to 0. Next, we can multiply these equations by 4. So, you will get 4r square plus 4r minus 3 equal to 0. So, next, you can factorize these quadratic equations. So, you will get 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 3. So, the value of r is 1 over 2 and r equal to negative 3 over 2. So, you get two values of r. Okay, these two values of r you will use to be substituted into equations 1 or equations 2 to get the value of a. So, Let's substitute it in equations 1. Let's say I will take uh, the first value of r. Which is r equal to 1 over 2. When r equal to 1 over 2, substitute into 1. We get a in the bracket 1 over 2 minus 1 equal to 20. So, we get negative 1 over 2a equal to 20. So, a equal to negative 40. Alright. Next, we take when r equal to negative 3 over 2, substitute into equations 1, we have a times negative 3 over 2 minus 1 equal to 20. So, you have negative 5 over 2a equal to 20. So, a equal to negative 8. Therefore, the possible values of the first term are negative 40 and negative 8.